And we are watching breaking news. At least one person is dead. Five others are in the hospital after a fire rips through this home in Logan Heights. Incredible flames here. This is what it looked like as crews first arrived to the scene early this morning. 10 News reporter Nate Holmes. She joins us live from Clay Street. And Nate, a lot of people in shock after watching their neighbors being pulled from this fire. That's right. I spoke to neighbors and they tell me that they are praying for the family, especially after learning that one person did not survive. They're also saying that they are hoping that the other victims have a speedy recovery. And they tell me that they woke up to people screaming and then they said it was like a scene from a movie. But just out here, you can see firefighters have wrapped up, but you can see that this home is a loss. The areas around the windows and doors are charred and there is a large hole in the roof there. Now we wanted you to take a look at this video from earlier this morning. The home was fully engulfed. You can see the flames and smoke billowing from the windows and doors. The call came in just before 430 this morning. Now this home is located in the 3100 block of Clay Street. I'm told before crews arrived, neighbors jumped in trying to spray water on the home and getting the victims out of the house. They were able to save a girl at the beginning because I guess she had like her hand sticking out the window or something. So they broke in the door and grabbed her out. But like they said that when they grabbed her, they grabbed her arm and like her like skin kind of like tore off and stuff because it was blistered up. Now when the flames got too intense, neighbors had to wait for fire crews to help. San Diego Fire says many of the victims had to be pulled out of the home. Some of them had no heart rate at the time. Crews worked hard to administer CPR and the victims were taken to the hospital. We're still working on their conditions at this time, but we can tell you that no firefighters were hurt after battling this fire. As of right now, though, there is no word yet on what started the fire. Live here in Logan Heights, Nate Holmes, 10 News.